The trial is a unique one. It's a large scale international trial in a terrorist case. It's not the normal type of trial you would find at the domestic level in a national prosecution. And it's unique for another reason. It's an in absentia trial. The prosecution's approach in this in absentia trial would not change and has not changed. We will present all the evidence in accordance with the rules and apply the same burden and standard of proof beyond a reasonable doubt. There are certain benefits to an in absentia trial. For example, it allows the hearing of the evidence in a public forum. It allows the victim's voices to be heard. And ultimately, the court will make a determination as to what occurred, make certain findings of fact, and determine the liability of the accused, even if they are not physically present in the court. But we, we must remember and not lose sight of the fact that an in absentia trial is really only the second best option. I must insist on, uh, and I'm working with the Lebanese authorities to that effect, on the pursuit and apprehension of the accused. If we complete the trial and the court makes its determination, whatever it is, we shouldn't necessarily be satisfied with its completion if the accused are not present in the courtroom for the trial.